there's a mole. Right at the top of the circus. He's been there for years. A classic novel comes to life and it involves compromising the highest levels of the British government. Hello there everyone and thank you once again for tuning in to RealScreenReviews.com. I am movie critic Nick Iacobucci and our next movie review is Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. This spy thriller opened in limited release on the 9th of December 2011 and it stars Gary Oldman, Mark Strong, Tom Hardy and recent best actor Colin Firth. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy comes to us from director Thomas Alfredson, the director of a few foreign films who gets his first crack at a mainstream feature. This story tells of a retired and disgraced MI6 operative named George Smiley. It has been years since he has been an active agent, but he is approached by the British government to come out of retirement for one more secretive and dangerous mission. It seems that in the heart of the Cold War, a top secret Soviet spy has infiltrated the highest echelons of the government of the United Kingdom. Mr. Smiley must now race to uncover the mole before the secrets of MI6 become compromised, and this must all come to be without tipping off the mole themselves. By the time our story comes to a close, we will see our hero forced to make the toughest choices of his career, and when murder and treason lay in the balance, there is no room for wrong decisions. Well, people, director Thomas Alfredson has crafted one stylish thriller. For starters, the camera is rarely in any one spot for longer than just an instant, and he subtly and smoothly keeps the lens moving almost the entire film. By doing this, he makes the movie more entertaining for the viewer and gets a little more out of each performance because of it. By using nothing but basic techniques with the camera, he adds to the project on a whole, and I actually only found one flaw in his direction. I thought that he maybe poured too much effort into slowly revealing the mystery to the audience and the pace of the film suffered becoming too slow because of this. Well, what can you say about Gary Oldman? I mean, he is one of the most solid and talented performers in Hollywood and he once again shows us why he's considered to be just that. If you think about it, the same actor has portrayed Sid Vicious, Count Dracula, Commissioner Gordon, Ludwig von Beethoven, and Lee Harvey Oswald, and if that doesn't define the word range, then I don't know what can. Here he delivers one of his most subtle and restrained performances, but still retains all of the complexity and strength needed to carry a film of this caliber. The best and strongest aspect of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy is the acting ensemble that has come together to propel this film well above the description of just average. Basically, the absolute best British actors in the business hold every scene of this film together. I think that Tom Hardy is one of the best, if not the best, new actor to come around in years. Every time he steps in front of the camera, he shows me something completely new and different, and he has yet to disappoint me in all of his outings as an actor. Colin Firth and Mark Strong are two of the finest actors making movies today, and when you back everything up with Stephen Graham, Toby Jones, and John Hurt, well, let's just say if there was an Oscar for Best Ensemble or Cast, then Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy would definitely be the one to beat in that category. Now, I really like this film, but I did come up with a flaw here and there. Maybe because there were quite a few names to keep up with, or could it possibly be the result of trying to give you the best mystery possible, but the movie wasn't always clear as a bell, so to speak. Also, with such a great reveal throughout the tale, and then slowly building to a finale, it just kind of felt anticlimactic when it all came to an end. My biggest problem with this film, however, was that it could have been just a tad bit longer, and I sort of felt short-changed because I knew that there was so much more of a story to be told. However this, feature, however, this is a feature film, and it has to be contained into a two-hour frame, but it was very easy to see how the BBC turned this into a seven-hour miniseries a couple decades ago. At two hours and seven minutes, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy was one of the better films of 2011, and for me was a great way to start 2012. It is one of those films where the acting talent alone could carry the film, but it has the advantage of having a quality filmmaker at the helm as well. I have many good things to say about the film and have to search to find bad things to say about it. This film is just as tight as any big Hollywood actioneer, and it only needs to use words instead of guns, special effects, or explosions. This is a thinking man's intellectual thriller that I would love to give three and a half stars to, but I just can't. 
Now, if it were a faster paced movie, I could probably lean that far. But Nick's real screen review is going to be a little more restrained. Still a very favorable and highly recommended three stars out of four for Gary Oldman and the exceptional ensemble of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. And remember people, I'm not always right, but only when it comes to the movies. And thank you for your attention. I'm so ugly. We're not so very different, you and I. We're both looking for the weaknesses in one another.